How many steps do you think it takes to get from Lola to Ollie? The only way to find out is to connect the dots. Okay, let's start off with the obvious. Lola is the queen of pageants. To me, true beauty means having big hair and an even bigger heart. Aww. And while she seems really nice on stage, she actually has a bit of a dark side. But wait, what if Lola finds out? You know what she's capable of. Lola! You burned a hole through my notes! You need to learn to control your power. Just like Avatar Wan, who was the first one to master firebending. <laughs> and in the Nick universe, there's actually another fire origin story. <laughs> hey, it looks like he's uh, cooking with flour. And if we fast forward to modern day, we see that we're still using flour all the time. What's with the potato sack? And what's in all the pockets? Is this corn flour? Si, masa! Although I guess you can also use flour to make pasta or whatever, which is one of the things used in Lincoln's school project. It took three weeks, four boxes of pasta, two tubes of glue, and 27 popsicle sticks, but the centerpiece of my project is finally finished. 27 popsicle sticks? That's a pretty specific number. So let's dig in. Okay, so 27 is the multiple of three, and all the Ninja Turtles have only three fingers on each hand. Who's got six fingers and just saved the day? This guy. Having less fingers has got to make life more difficult. But imagine not having any, like Pony. <laughs> I found Dad's old tent. Help me figure out how to put it up. As soon as I get this bear trap open. It's not a bear trap, it's a camp chair. Pretty sure it's a trap. Have you ever seen a human chair? Because I have. Behold, the dinner chair pose. Your seat awaits, Vito. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Man, all the street fair food. I must have oh. put on 20 pounds today. You got this, Bobby. Be the chair. Come on. No! It seems like they need more benches around town. Like this one. A psych! That's not a bench, that's a SpongeBob. And he can turn himself into pretty much any shape, like Texas. Hey, Patrick, what am I now? Uh, stupid? No, I'm Texas. What's the difference? <laughs> Texas is known as the Lone Star State. And Patrick is a star who's alone. Where'd everybody go? Hello? But if we check over here, SpongeBob is also wearing a lone star. Wonderful! You're hired! Hey, everybody! Meet our new sheriff! Yeah! Yeah! Speaking of sheriff, Piper gets into trouble with the law constantly. Hold this, would you? Sure. I'll get that. Oh! Hello. You here for a tan? No. Are you running an illegal tanning salon here? Am I under arrest? Yep. All right. But to avoid getting bad tan lines or even a sunburn, you should definitely wear sunscreen. SPF 800 sunscreen. Perfect for my fair skin. Hmm, tingly. Giving me a sunburn is not the way to win my vote. Huh? Sodium hydrochloride? Avoid contact with skin? Lincoln, what are you supposed to wear before touching chemicals? Gloves, man. Maybe your next vacation should be the glove world. Yeah! They're going. They're going. We're, We're gone! You're right! Glove World looks like a ton of fun. Another fantastic day at Glove World. As long as you get off at the right bus stop. Ah! Where is this, SpongeBob? Rock bottom. Hold on a minute, I have an idea. If I put my burn notes up to that sign, we can see the letters R-O-B-O-T. That spells robot, and Cora once fought a robot. That episode is called Day of the Colossus, and Colossus means a giant statue that's larger than life. 
kind of like what Patrick thought would happen when he turned SpongeBob's belt to Wombo. Let me take a look at it. Hmm. <laughs> you know what the problem is? What? You got it set to M for mini, when it should be set to W for Wombo. Patrick, I don't think Wombo is a real word. Come on, you know. I Wombo, you Wombo, he, she, me, Wombo. Mini Squidward is adorable, but when he got miniaturized, his hat vanished. What it? What now? A hat is worn on the crown of your head, and you know who wore a crown once? Piper. Hear me, hear me. As your cactus queen, I declare the Swell New Cactus Convention open. <laughs> Crowns are worn by queens, and the one true queen of cool is none other than Ronnie Ann. Jeez, Ronnie Ann, how'd you find out about all this awesome stuff going on? Yeah, you're like the queen of cool. Well, I don't know about that. Wow, talk about humble. But the opposite of humble would be overconfident, just like Donnie. Donnie, can you, um. I can fix this, I can fix this, I can fix this, I can fix this, I can totally fix this. Okay. You know what, turns out I cannot fix this. Okay, maybe that didn't go super well, since now Alberto is on the loose. Oh, Buongiorno, kitties! Guess who's back? Too bad Charlotte wasn't there. She was really good at controlling Henry in that battle suit. Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> if this works, then you two can control Captain Man and Kid Danger. Yeah, yeah, and then they can send us to find Barge and make him throw in the towel. Ooh, that's good. Throw one to me, too. I am working up quite a sweat just trying to make the connection from Lola to Ollie. Man, feeling the burn, man. Anyway, a towel is something you use to dry your body. Unless it's the paper kind. Let's see. Paper towels. This one says best paper towel around. This one says best paper towel in town. Ooh. In town. Around. In town. Around. What do you think, bodyguard? Oh, come on, SpongeBob. Stop clowning around. But wait, that's it. Clowning around makes you giggle. And I swear I'm not making this up, but Lincoln knows a clown whose name is Giggles. At your six o'clock is Luann's friend from clown school, Giggles. A Virgo with an infectious laugh, Giggles' ideal date is trying to figure out how many people she could cram into one car. Hey, Giggles, I'm Lincoln. Pleased to meet ya. Giggles is a Virgo, and the qualities of a Virgo include precise, determined, reliable, observant, analytical, and very clean. But that doesn't really lead us anywhere. Or does it? Cuz a Virgo has the ruling planet of Mercury, which is also a kind of metal. And who can bend metal? Hmm? No, oh, come on, do I need to spell it out for you guys? M-E-T-A-L-B-E-N-D-E-R-S. Metal benders. These meteorites are perfect for beginning metal benders. The metals have a unique property, making them easier to bend. That's amazing. Heavy metal must be a lot harder to bend. Unless it's the music kind, of course. Best $200,000 I ever spent. Ray is holding a lightning bolt, just like Jupiter, god of the sky, whose brother is Neptune. And Neptune's son is Triton. What is going on in here? Hey, Dad, check it out. I'm studying chemistry, and I've just created a cure for all mortal diseases. You know what? He kind of looks like a hippie. And hippies are known as flower children, although not to be mistaken with a flower girl or boy. <laughs> Carl, don't just throw the marigolds. You're supposed to make a path so our ancestors can find their way here. Our ancestors don't have GPS? <laughs> <laughs> Carl seems to be a little lost. Kind of like this uh, dog thingy. Man, are you okay, boy? Oh, girl, you sure were good through all that mayhem. Hey, mayhem, that's a cute name. Okay, mayhem sounds like a name for someone who's ready to cause some chaos. But it's not all bad. Chaos can be good sometimes. Coming through. Speaking of pony and boots, horse riding boots are something that Ray is really familiar with. 
Whatever brings you to our modest and totally real school. Oh, cool your toots, fancy boots. It ain't real till I says it's real. Hold on, what is she wearing? They're Bucci. Ah, Bucci, of course. Such high fashion. And the one person you should always go to for fashion advice is obviously Lenny. Cinch that with a belt. Live on the edge with a polka dot skirt. Oh, no, no. What did I tell you about wearing socks with sandals? No, oh, only if they're colorful or ironic. Fash Hun and Doc Tur are spelled wrong on her booth. But I think she's sending us a secret message. Because if you combine Hun and Tur, you get Hunter. So what's the plan? We're gonna trap that jerk bag hunter. Yeah, Bigfoot likey. I don't know if it's just because I'm hungry, but when he said jerk, it reminded me of jerky. Go away, monkey. Can't you see I'm busy? Hey, that's my snack. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. Am I right? Pick up Pick up fish lips. Beep. Beep. Sea weevil. Sea weevil. Your Yorgy smorgy. At least I'm safe inside my mind. At least I'm safe inside my mind. <laughs> Whoa, that's some crazy good mind reading. You know, I kind of wonder if we could do that. You want to try? Let's do it. Wow, he's got a whole factory in there, which actually reminds me of the Frittle Factory, owned by Jack Frittleman. I told Dimitri I didn't want a timer. <laughs> Hello, Dimitri. Yeah, I'm calling about the Boomsday device. I never asked for a... I'm sorry. How are you, Dimitri? How's Michigan? Yeah, I'm calling about the... No, I don't want to talk to the dog. I'm in the middle of a revenge plot. Hi, Nibbles. Yeah, I miss you too. Well, maybe he should have just left a voicemail instead. Hey, this is Lori. You know what to do. Hey, Lori. It's your dear brother, Lincoln. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. You are... And that is why you are the worst sister ever! Or maybe not. What do you think, Clyde? But hold on a second, because this might be the final thread that we've been missing. Because while Luna's guitar may be loud, it's no match for Lynn's whistle. What's with the confounded whistle? I'm just getting some practice in. Principal Ramirez made me hall monitor this year, and I will not let her down. I was born to carry this badge. Ah, loud, that's strike two. <laughs> Being a hall monitor is tough work, and SpongeBob is one of the hardest working hall monitors I've ever seen. I will put on this uniform and assume my duties as... Hall monitor! Wish me luck, Mrs. Puff. Okay, so... Every hall monitor needs to keep an extra eye open. You know, in case of maniacs. I'm the open window maniac! But speaking of extra eye, remember the time that Plankton had an extra one? That wasn't so bad. Uh-oh, here we go. Eureka! If we draw out that eye, it looks like this, which is almost exactly like the symbol on this backpack. Which, of course, belongs to Ollie. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. See? Lola and Ollie are so closely connected, it only took 65 steps. You don't even need to pack a bag for this one. But if you want to stay connected, don't forget to subscribe for fun videos every single week. Only on Nick.